Today we will see examples related to laws of exponents. Example simplify. 5 upon 6 whole to the power minus 12 into 4 upon 15 whole to the power minus 12 whole to the power 3. To simplify this we need the understanding of the laws of exponents. Pause the video and revise them again. Here we see that two exponents are being multiplied in brackets whose bases are different but the powers are the same. To simplify it, tell us which rule should we use? Give it a thought. Exactly, we will use this rule. a to the power m into b to the power m is equal to a into b whole to the power m. In this way, we can write 5 upon 6 whole to the power minus 12 into 4 upon 15 whole to the power minus 12 is equal to 5 upon 6 into 4 upon 15 whole to the power minus 12. Now, if we simplify the multiplication given in the brackets, we will divide 15 by 5 so that instead of 15, we get the number 3. Similarly, we give 4 and 6 as their m, that is, 8cf divided by 2, we get 3 instead of 4 and 3 instead of 6. Then we will find the result of multiplication. For this, we will multiply the numerator, which will come 2, and similarly, we will multiply the denominator, which will come 9. In this way, multiplication will result in 2 upon 9. In this way, the given question will become, 2 upon 9 whole to the power minus 12 whole to the power 3. Can you tell to solve this what all rules need to be used by us? Give it a thought. Okay, I will tell you. Here, the rule a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m n will be used. By using this, 2 upon 9 whole to the power minus 12 whole to the power 3 can be written as 2 upon 9 whole to the power 3 into minus 12 whole. 3 into minus 12 is equal to minus 36. Then solution of the given question is 2 upon 9 whole to the power minus 36. By using the rules correctly like this, you can solve difficult questions in minutes. Next example, find the value of x so that minus 27 to the power minus 7 divided by 9 to the power x minus 6 is equal to minus 3 to the power 3. You must be aware of the fact that in an equation both the sides are of equal value. Here, if we somehow equate the bases of both the sides, then we can compare the powers. Along with this, we can also find the value of x. Come, let us solve it this way. All of you know by now that minus 27 can be written as minus 3 into minus 3 into minus 3, which in exponential form is written as minus 3 to the power 3. In this way, to get an equal base for the first value, we can write 9 as minus 3 into minus 3, that is minus 3 to the power 2, minus 3 to the power 3 whole to the power minus 7 divided by minus 3 to the power 2 whole to the power x minus 6 is equal to minus 3 to the power 3. Here the rule a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power mn will be used. Then we will get minus 3 to the power 3 into minus 7 whole divided by minus 3 to the power 2 into x minus 6 whole is equal to minus 3 to the power 3 minus 3 to the power minus 21 divided by minus 3 to the power 2x minus 12 is equal to minus 3 to the power 3. Now here we can see that the bases are equal. On the left side the rule a to the power m divided by a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n can be used by us. This will give us minus 3 to the power minus 21 minus 2x minus 12 whole is equal to minus 3 to the power 3. 
is equal to minus 3 to the power minus 21 minus 2x plus 12 is equal to minus 3 to the power 3 minus 3 to the power minus 9 minus 2x is equal to minus 3 to the power 3. Because the value of both the sides is equal and the bases of the sides are equal to, thus the powers would be equal to. So we can say that minus 9 minus 2x is equal to 3. That is, minus 2x is equal to 3 plus 9 is equal to 12. That is, x is equal to 12 divided by minus 2 is equal to minus 6. So here, the value of x is minus 6. Today we saw examples related to laws of exponents. In the next video, we will see some common mistakes made in this concept.